Should we be recording? Oh crap! Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my fellow YouTube fact tonight, it's Dave Wobble here, and welcome to FTD Facts. Man, what a weird opening. You guys see me picking at my thingy my doodle on it? Man, blisters, ooh. So guys, today I'm really happy to give you guys this new video because as you guys know, FTD Facts, we're all about the truth, man, the new age of school. But we're, as you can see from this video, we're giving you something that's a little bit left field. I'm not gonna lie about this. However, this video comes from one of our YouTubers, one of our favorite YouTubers who always suggests videos to us. So guys, get on it. It's Jishan Mustak and he says, hey guys, can you do a video on haunted places? And then I started thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, how do you do uh, facts on ghosts and the paranormal because as much as I believe in that stuff, yo that's a fact about me by the way, most scientists don't widely accept the paranormal as science. So I thought, wait a minute, yo, we're gonna take these haunted places, some famous haunted places, and we're gonna actually just give you some history on them because let's be real, history is fact. Right? So with that being said, before I get in this video, I'm gonna ask all you guys out there in the real world, do you guys believe in the paranormal and what do you believe in? There's stuff like Bigfoot, there is stuff like ghosts, there's a Loch Ness Monster. What do you believe in and tell me why you believe in it. So let's start with the first one. You guys know my pal Leroy who's the black guy on the channel and I'm the white guy. Oddly enough, I call myself Mr. Black, he calls himself Mr. White, I know. Weird. So I'm taking a story from Jamaica. But when it comes to where Leroy's from, Jamaica, man, it's got one really famous haunted place, and that is called Rose Hall. Now apparently Rose Hall is haunted by a ghost named Annie Palmer, which oddly enough they call the White Witch. Weird. Now Rose Hall was initially built in the 1770s, but nowadays it's practically a resort. And a really nice one of that, you can go do some serious golfing. Yeah, Yo, by the way, if any of you guys are golfers, hit that like button. Seriously. So did nobody hit the like button there? Right, because golf, those pants, they're just too goofy. Now currently it is owned by Miss World USA, <laughs> Michelle Rollins. But as for the ghost, well, got some bad news because it's really not real. Now it was fictionalized from a Jamaican novel called The White Witch of Rose Hall by Herbert G. DeLisser. Now it was published in 1929 and yes, yeah, some people still say, oh well, he got it from a story of a ghost that was in Rose Hall. So maybe that's true, but that is where the story really blew up from. Now keep in mind, there was a woman that did exist and her name was Rosa. But unlike the ghost in the story, they didn't share very similar character traits. But who knows, what do you think? Haunted, yay or nay? Now guys, we gotta move on to number two because first of all, I might be related to this lady. We're talking about the brown lady of Rhinum Hall. Now her actual name is Lady Dorothy Walpole. That's right, Walpole for the win, yeah! <laughs> so, that's right, oh, us Wapples, we definitely would be scaring people after we die because we, uh, we just <laughs> love getting under people's skin. Now the hall was completed in 1637 and for 400 years it was owned by the Townsend home. Now Dorothy Walpole, she was the sister of the first Prime Minister of England, and that was Robert Walpole. Dude, I got royalty in me too, this is awesome. Now as for Dorothy, she is probably the most famous ghost in the entire world. You probably have seen this image before and yeah, it's terrifyingly creepy. That staircase, no thanks. It's not like Gone with the Wind where you're carrying a beautiful dame up the staircase. This one, you're running away from the staircase. Now this photo was taken in 1936 and the story is that Dorothy committed adultery with a man by the name of Lord Wharton. And when her husband Charles Townsend found out, he locked her in a room where she died from starvation. Now the first person to see the ghost of Dorothy was Lucia C. Stone during a Christmas gathering in 1835. Whew, just scary. No, get me out of this video. Ah. Now for number three, let's go down under. We're talking about the Princess Theatre in Melbourne, Australia. Now this theatre sat 1,488 people when it opened in 1854. Now it is the oldest continuing entertainment theatre in all of Australia. By 1885, it was under the hands of new management, but the theatre had become run down, so the owners demolished it and rebuilt a new one the following year. And where the ghost stories come from is all because of March 3rd, 1888. Ooh, got it right. This is where Frederick Baker was performing the opera Faust. He apparently fell into a trap door and suffered a severe heart attack. He was immediately taken to the hospital, but his cast and crew were like, no, he was there for the final bow. And since then, there have been numerous sightings of Frederick, but the theater honors his death by having an open spot for him at every single showing. Okay, next one, we're talking about the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. It is the creepiest place on earth. <laughs> 
You know when you talk about insane asylums? Yo, that's kind of what it is. Although it's not actually an insane asylum, it's a tuberculosis hospital. Just as creepy, right? Because let's be honest, you can't talk about haunted places without an abandoned hospital. Now this is one of my personal favorites because it is just so creepy, I would love to film a movie there. I've always wanted to go, but I've never had the time. Now it was originally built in 1910 in Jefferson County. Jefferson County had become ravaged by the disease of tuberculosis and they needed a hospital quick. However, around 1961, the site actually closed because, well, they developed an antibiotic to fight off tuberculosis. However, it was reopened in 1962 as a geriatric center, but it closed in 1982 due to patient neglect. Now, since then, there has been a lot of attempts to reopen this building. However, in 2001, it was purchased by Tina and Charlie Mattingly, who now use the site for ghost tours and spend their earned money on restoring the site. And as a matter of fact, you can see they've even put in new windows. Hooray! So guys, that is it. I know here on FTD Facts we like to give you like 10 or more facts, but let's be honest, that was just a crap ton of information. This video would be like 25 minutes long if we gave you a 10. So I'm really thinking that maybe we could get a part 2 out of this sometime down the future. Let me know what you guys think about that down there in the comments below. Also guys, seriously, recommend videos. Yo, be like Zishan Mystique. He is just giving us ideas and we're using it. So for all you guys out there who have given us ideas, we are listening, we are working on it, and we've got tons of new videos videos coming to you guys. So until then, thanks for watching. I'm Dave Wapple. It's been real. It's been classy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cool. Bye. Wow. <laughs> With a man by the name of Lord Walton. W Wharton. We're talking about the Princess Theater in Melbourne, Australia. We're talking about the... Now this theater sat 1,488 people when it opened in... And actually, it is the oldest continuous entertainment theater. Uh, and it is actually the oldest continuous theater. Mm. God, that was hard to say. With a man by the name of. Mm. With a man by the name of Lord Walton. Walton. Mm.